welcome back to Simple Living. This will be my first uh, Christmas video of the season, and boy, do I have a recipe for you. <laughs> You're gonna love it. They're called thumbprint cookies. They could not be any easier. I just, you don't even need a mixer, a stand mixer, nothing. You just need a bowl and a wooden spoon or whatever you have, and you can make these cookies. Now, don't you worry. If I, I'm vegan, and I make everything vegan in this house, but if you are not vegan, all you have to do is switch out the butter and you have a traditional thumbprint cookie. I love the versatility of these cookies. You can put any jams or jellies in your thumbprint, make them their, your own, whatever your family's favorite jams or jelly is, then I would use that. Maybe you could use the, a mint jelly for the green and then a raspberry for the red or cherry or strawberry. Anyway, if this is something that you think you might be interested in making, uh, please stay tuned because we're fixing to get cooking in the kitchen and I am so excited to share this fantastic spot on Christmas cookie with you. All right, thank you for stopping by. Two sticks of butter, not two and a half. <laughs> two sticks of butter and you're gonna just kind of whirl it around in your bowl. Then you're going to add a half a cup of regular ground sugar and then a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And you're gonna stir that really good. These are gonna make a great holiday cookie. Keep stirring this and stirring it until you get it pretty creamy. Then you're going to add one egg. Well, I use an egg substitute, and it's just one tablespoon of the powder to two tablespoons of water. Add that in. You're going to add also to your two sticks of butter and sugar and brown sugar. You're going to add one and a half teaspoons of some good vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and just put two teaspoons because I love vanilla. You're gonna give that a stir. You're just gonna just stir. You don't even need no mixer. You just need a wooden, uh, wooden spoon and a bowl, and you're good. I'm gonna surprise my Superman with these tonight. He is going to love them. And then to this mixture, You've got two and a half cups of flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. You're gonna give that a whirl, and you're gonna add it to your sugar and butter mixture. Cover it and let it sit in the uh, ice box for about two hours. And then you're gonna roll them up in, in balls, and we're gonna put a thumbprint in them and add our jam. So now I'm gonna go ahead, slowly add my flour mixture. put an ice box cover it and we'll be back in two hours and we will start making our cookies
put my thumb in one that it didn't crack around the, the perimeter. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm having to mend the perimeter as I go of the cookie. thumbprints in there, mend the cracks. Time to put the jam in it. I'm gonna do cherry here. Half a teaspoon. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm a mess. Half a teaspoon in each little slice. I'm gonna do fig. I'm gonna do some lemon curd. And then you're gonna sprinkle, after you get done baking them, you're gonna sprinkle them with powdered sugar. And, oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, into the freezer they go for 15 minutes and then we'll bake them. Fresh out of the freezer. 12 to 15 minutes. <laughs> 